Hello Youtubers, I am Paris and welcome to Android Application Development Tutorials. So, I have decided uh, along with my Python and uh, C++ series, uh, I have decided to also add Android Application Development videos and uh, I want to share my Android uh, knowledge also. Uh, basically, we are using Android Studio uh, in, this, uh, in this series. So, before starting our main topic, so I request from all of you to like the video and also give a comment about the video. Uh, basically in this video we are going to uh, talk uh, about two issues so first we are uh, going to learn that uh, what's Android and we have a simple introduction to Android and after that I'm going to show you that how you can install Android Studio and in the second step we will learn about the installation of Genymotion so Genymotion is a virtual emulator for Android so uh, now uh, let's get started to our main topic and main video hello friends I'm Parways and this is our first video in Android application development with Android studio so now this is the first video and in the first video we are going to have uh, we're going to introduce uh, Android operating system and after that uh, I will show you that how you can install Android studio so uh, now uh, first of all uh, what is Android uh, Android is an operating system uh, that is based on Linux kernel. Now, uh, uh, Android is designed primarily for touch, touch screen mobile devices such as uh, smartphones and tablets. Uh, so, uh, there are a lot of development for Android in the last uh, 15 years. Uh, if you uh, from simple phones uh, up to smart touch screen phones and um, some other. Okay, now uh, we are going to talk about uh, Android uh, architecture or structure, Android structure. Uh, so Android is divided into five sections and four main layers. Now, let me inter introduce these. So the first one, we are going to talk about Linux kernel. Now, Android use Linux kernel. And this kernel is the heart of Android operating system. Now, uh, uh, Linux is responsible for uh, input and output requests from software what this means uh, the basic functionality like uh, process management memory management uh, device management like camera uh, keypad display all of them are related to kernel now the feature of uh, the features of Linux kernel is security memory management uh, process management network stack and driver model so another one is libraries now this is uh, this layer is on top of the Linux kernel, and uh, uh, these libraries are uh, consist of WebKit, Media Framework, uh, SQLite, OpenGL, and this is Open Graphic Library, and some other uh, libraries. Uh, another one is Android uh, Android Runtime. Now it's one of the important structure on Android operating system. So it is related to Dalvik Virtual Machine. Now, what's Dalvik Virtual Machine? Uh, Dalvik Virtual Machine, it's like Java Virtual Machine, and it's especially designed for Android. By this Dalvik Virtual Machine, uh, the application can run on Android devices. Uh, the Dalvik VM uh, or Virtual Machine uh, uses the devices underlying Linux kernel uh, to handle uh, low level functionality. So, uh, for example, including security, threading, and memory management. Now, uh, another one is the application framework. Uh, this layer uh, provides higher level services to application. So, such as, uh, let me give you example, we can uh, say that such as window manager, view system, package manager, uh, resource manager, and etc. Um, and another one is the application. So, it is the most top layer of Android. Uh, it's the layer that uh, we uh, write and install the application. For example, books, contacts, browsers, and etc. So this was some few words about uh, Android operating system. And uh, now let me uh, open the browser and let me uh, show you that uh, what we need for uh, developing Android applications. Okay guys, so before uh, downloading and installing Android Studio, 
because we are using Java language and as uh, uh, you know there are some language that you can use on Android development uh, for example uh, so the first language is uh, that uh, is used mostly that's Java also uh, Google announced uh, Kotlin as official language of uh, uh, Android application now because we are using Java in this series you need to download GDK uh, you can download from oracle.com and I have I have already downloaded this and you can install that simply uh, after this you need to uh, uh, download Android Studio and you can see that this is uh, you can just click on this and uh, it's around uh, and this is the size uh, so uh, uh, you can download Android Studio so now after uh, completing the download uh, I have already downloaded uh, Android Studio now we are going to install uh, Android Studio okay now uh, this is the uh, executable file of Android Studio now let me uh, double click on this uh, so now please wait and uh, we are waiting for the uh, that uh, setup is loading so now when you're going to install Android Studio uh, you should be connected with uh, internet because there are some uh, packages that will be downloaded by Android Studio so now I'm waiting for this okay now this is the setup let me click on next and uh, you need to choose this uh, click on next and in here you need to you can choose your uh, so the location and we are going to click on next and uh, so after this now I'm going to uh, install so now uh, this will take uh, some time and uh, uh, it will install so I'm going to uh, resume the video and I will be back okay guys now the installation is uh, complete so it's going to be completed and uh, now uh, so now setup was completed after that we are going to click on next okay now we are going to click on finish and it will open Android Studio for us but uh, we need to download some other uh, materials for Android Studio so now let me just wait for this for the that uh, Android Studio Oh, so now uh, I'm going to click on next and uh, because uh, now this is after that I'm going to click on next and click and it will install these uh, on finish so now this will take uh, more time and uh, I'm waiting for this that uh, it uh, be completed so it will download uh, all the requirements for Android Studio So guys now you can see that uh, the installation is on the process and I'm waiting for downloading all components uh, it's a big file and it will take uh, more times so you need to have a good internet connection so now uh, these are downloaded and uh, completed and I'm waiting for more of them okay guys now the installation completed and uh, all components downloaded and my Android is the case up to date now after this I'm going to click on finish and now uh, yeah now this is our Android Studio uh, that uh, we can uh, create a new project so you can see it is version uh, 3.2.1 uh, now uh, the installation has been completed and uh, in the next video uh, I will show you that how you can install Janimotion now uh, Janimotion is a virtual emulator that you can use uh, so I will uh, make a video on that in the uh, next uh, video Now in this video I'm going to show you that how you can use uh, Janimotion and Android Studio. Now Janimotion is a virtual emulator. Uh, so uh, even though we have uh, emulators, uh, built-in emulators in Android Studio, 
but uh, they are slow if you have a good uh, computer you can use that but uh, if your computer spe specification is uh, 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 lower then you can use Genymotion and it will work uh, good so it has a free trail it is uh, for uh, just for personal use but if you want you can buy and uh, from uh, here you can uh, make an account and after that you can download now there are two kind of download that you can use in Genymotion so the first one if you have a virtual box uh, in your computer so you can um, you can choose without virtual box Genymotion but uh, if you don't have virtual box you can download virtual box with Genymotion so after downloading that you will have like this so it is um, it is with virtual box and uh, I'm going to click on this and I will install this so the first important is that uh, you need to make an account in Genymotion because if you don't make it will not work for you so now I'm going to install this and uh, click on OK now click on next next and next install so now I'm waiting for the installation and this will be completed so now this take some time so Jenny motion and uh, I'm waiting for this for the installation process that it should be complete so Genymotion is so good, uh, I always use Genymotion uh, so when I'm going to now make a uh, Android application and for testing purpose I always use Genymotion because it's fast and I don't have any problem with this so finishing the installation and now so Windows installer <coughs> So just waiting for this and uh, okay now ver because I have already installed this uh, the virtual box and uh, uh, so uh, now for right now I have uh, a virtual box but uh, when you install this there will be another option so mm, install the version so because I have then I click on no now finish and now our genie motion is uh, installed now I'm going to launch the genie motion So okay guys now this is our genie motion and welcome to the genie motion if you have an account you can give your username and also you can give your password uh, or if you don't have you can create an account so now let me just give my username and password in here so after giving your information now you need to choose the license uh, so you can buy a license but uh, we are going to use this for just personal use you can check personal use and click on next okay now you need to accept this click on next and uh, after this now uh, okay now this is uh, our uh, mm, so this is our um, now you need to uh, install a device for this so you can see that there are different uh, sizes so let me just choose one and uh, for example uh, let me what uh, I choose so mm, so I want to choose this Galaxy S3 uh, Genymotion so you need to click on this and install so you can give the name and this is the pre predefined and uh, you can choose a uh, custom or you can give a predefined so and after this you can click on install so there are a lot of that you can uh, choose but uh, I have just choose this but uh, after this I will install some more now it is uh, this is the size of this and I'm waiting that the installation uh, will be completed and after uh, completing the installation uh, our Jenny motion is ready so thank you guys um, now so I'm waiting for this okay guys now the installation of uh, this virtual emulator has been completed and now it's creating device and I'm waiting to uh, it create device for us so but that there are a lot of uh, virtual emulator that you can use for and you can install so different sizes and different API levels 
so that uh, you can make for this for example we have uh, up to API level uh, 28 and also if uh, you don't have uh, you, you can add your custom device in here so it has uh, add custom device so now uh, let me just check and uh, so now uh, my device is created and uh, uh, if you start uh, you can start this <coughs> so now I'm waiting for the start so now it's starting and I'm waiting uh, for this uh, so you can see that Jenny motion for personal use it's Samsung Galaxy 3 now it will be started and uh, I'm waiting for the start of uh, my Jenny motion okay guys now this is uh, my uh, Jenny motion and this is the virtual emulator that we will use in Android Studio so thank you guys, uh, uh, if you have any questions please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the videos.